everyone as you can see this is the big white crochet tutorial which I have recently made and I'm going to put out the tutorial so there are two types as you can see there's one thick one and there's one thin one which looks this uh, like same like this uh, macrame one so yeah I made out of macrame and I found it really really time taking but this wasn't as much time taking and obviously I could prepare um, a lot in a thin thread so yeah let's begin the tutorial so for that I have taken 5.0 mm crochet hook and then 2 mm uh, hollow macrame cord which is white so now I'm going to to start with I'm just making a loop and then taking the longer end out to make the first loop for to start our project and then you can always pu uh, pull the longer end and make, make the um, loop smaller and now as hold the thread as shown and then keep making keep making another cha chain and then one more chain and then what you have to do is so now we have one chain so now I'm going to make so here I'm making another <coughs> um, chain I made uh, out of this the first uh, loop so I'm going to make this make a, at least five to six chain out of the first loop as you can see and this will form a circle so if you keep making the chain out of the same hole or loop it will become like a circle and um, the circle usually forms in, in almost five to six chains so here I am making I think six of them but it depends how um, is yeah, it depends on the thread as well as um, uh, hook so what what you have to do when you have completed the whole circle now as you can see the circle is completed so in the last one here now keep ch making the chain of 15 in the as you can see this is the last one as I said and I don't uh, there's, there's not much uh, st uh, space left in uh, the first loop that and it, it does f has formed already a circle so what you have to do is just keep making a chain of 15 or 20 but I have made a chain of 15 and then uh, you can also do you can also make 10 or, or 12 and uh, and then you we just want to make this chain a little bit thicker so how you, you, you will be doing that I'll show you in a minute so here you can see the chain has has been completed already now I'm going to try and making it thicker so to do that uh, I will uh, leave the first loop and then go and push the hook through the second one from the top and then and then take the loop out you're not taking the thread um, again you're not making another chain so take the thread and then take the, this loop out of the first loop so you have you have to keep doing on every uh, chain and then this will be um, a little bit thicker uh, chain basically once you complete the chain we will be starting from the ne next chain of or next loop of the circle I'll show you in a minute so you keep making this and complete the whole uh, chain like this So here you can see I am almost at the end so this is the last 
uh, chain we are make I'm making so I'm just going to do the same again and take it out of the first loop like this and then now to make the second chain what you have to do just find the next uh, loop or chain on the circle and just push through the um, hook and then start making the chain of 12 10 or 15 whatever you have made in the first one and then uh, continue making the chain just like that so here you can see I'm making another chain right so now I'll be continuing making the chain of the same height or length whatever you want to say um, uh, as you made the first one so yeah and then we will be again doing the same uh, bringing it down uh, from the top You can see um, I am now and starting so again as, as I said that leave the first loops go on to the second one and then start making uh, this chain a, a little thicker I literally don't know the, um, the tools and, and, uh, and the techniques of uh, the crochet but I, this is just how I started so I'm just saying how I'm just saying the language I can say so uh, you yeah, have me doing that uh, and if you think I am not doing it correctly if you are someone who knows the crochet very well just please tell me what would you say to this one thank you so much here you can see I have completed the second one and now I'll be continuing with the third and keep doing the same with all of the uh, all of the loops in the circle and when you come to the end I'll show you how I finish my end so here I'm on the last one as you can see uh, last loop and then I'm about to finish my last loop so what will I do is just keep making until the same way until the end and then once you have the last one what you have to do just take it out take the um, hook out because the, as you can see the the first end um, thread is down there so I will need to I mean that's how I do it so what will I do I'll just push the hook from the bottom and, and through the loop and then take the the end of the longer side or you can just cut it basically and uh, just pull the thread out so that you have both ends on the same side okay and then you can simply tie that's how I learned finishing all by myself I basically didn't know how to do it um, because I didn't watch any any uh, a tutorial so I definitely learned the tutorial for making those um, lines a bit thicker not for the whole thing so hope you like it hope it is helpful in making your own um, coral I literally love this coral so much because it's so helpful with this th thread I had this thread for from really long but I, I didn't know how, how, what to make out of it because uh, making macrame knots it, it just takes years out of the this thin thread so I'm not very good at making um, uh, macrame knots with a thin thread but look how beautiful it has turned and I just love it so after making that first um, cor um, layer of coral what I did I just uh, made some more of more of them like you can uh, come you can just tie almost like probably five of them or four of them 
even 3e will be quite thicker and will look a lot like a crush a lot like a coral so here this is how I have um, joined all my layers so I'm just going to show you that and then simply I have taken a plastic needle so that I can poke through all of the layers and then uh, tie uh, or, or sieve them all together of them all together so here we go and and then um, yeah that's it the coral is ready you can you can uh, put it in your tapestry or uh, you can add it with your fish um, uh, addition it is going to be going to look really lovely so hope you all like my um, this co coral and if you liked it please like share and subscribe So this coral is, uh, I am going to add it with my my um, sea tapestry and hope you all make one and if you liked it just try watching, uh, looking at my other other um, crochet and macrame uh, corals which um, are the great addition in your tapestry. So I'll try to put down the list or, uh, or the link of my uh, other tutorials. Please find and watch them. Thank you. Thank you all for watching and hope you like hope you all like it. Thanks.